Mark Turgeon has the microphone at the ready at D.C. Coach, welcome back. If you'd like to start with an opening statement, then we'll open it up. Thank you. Um, welcome to D.C. Um, we're excited about having media day here in D.C. and excited about uh, having the tournament. Uh, you know, Jim Delaney kept his word. He told, told me when we were joining the league that he would get us into D.C. So we're grateful for that. And our, I know our fans are excited uh, about that, too. So i um, got a couple athletes today with me, Melo Trimble and Demonte Dodd. They'll do a great job, great, great young men. So you'll enjoy uh, being around them. So i um, excited about my team. I uh, have a lot of new players, a lot of new pieces, a lot of good pieces. Um, you know, uh, last year I had a veteran team and uh, wasn't as much teaching. Uh, but when you get into coaching, you, you, you like being around guys and teaching them and making them better. So it's been a lot of, lot of fun, a lot of teaching, a lot of time on the floor. Very receptive group, uh, a group I like being around. Um, and we get better every day. So we're a work in progress, but I, you know, I, I can't Im imagine us being a very good team, you know, come Big Ten season. So excited about everything. Thanks, Coach. About five rows back on the left-hand side. Mark, Don Marcus from the Baltimore Sun. Um, in terms of the difference this year and last year, you guys came in here last year as, as favorites, Mello as preseason player of the year. It, is it easier as a coach and as a team to get a team ready with, as you say, a chip on your shoulder rather than a target on your back? Oh, I, you know, uh, you just like being good. And uh, we've had, you know, back-to-back really good teams, so we want to continue that. That's really what's important to us, trying to set a standard at Maryland that, um, that's a very high standard. And, um, you know, last year was a, it was, a fun, it was, it was a fun year. We won a lot of games, went to a Sweet 16. Um, so uh, it was what it was. You know, we want this year to be a great year. Uh, what I do I have this year um, with this group, I think, is we have a lot of young guys that um, – are, you know, their listening skills are, are very good. So uh, that's exciting as a coach, and uh, we're getting better. But, um, you know, I don't know if we have a chip on our shoulder, um, but we're excited about our team, and uh, we think we're, we're going to be pretty good. So that, that's, that's really what matters. Over there. Let's go front. Yeah, hi, Mark. Uh, Roman Stubbs of the Washington Post. Um, with Melo, just how much more at peace is he as a player this, you know, during this offseason after making the decision that he did? Have you just noticed him uh, kind of transform into something different from his previous two years? And, yeah. and are you expecting him to elevate his game to an even higher level? Yeah, I, I think, first of all, you know, Melo's had an unbelievable first two years for us. Um, I thought his sophomore year was 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 exceptional too, and um, you know, doubled his assist and, and and still scored at a high level. Um, so he is a great piece. Um, I think all along Melo wanted to stay. He knew it was the best thing for him, and um, he's been very happy since he made that decision. Uh, he's Im improved again in a lot of areas, um, probably. The area he's improved the most is um, he, he's just very comfortable being a leader. You know, he's always been a great player, but when you're a freshman, it's hard to lead seniors sometimes. And I think he's becoming more comfortable. He knows it's his team uh, in a lot of ways. Um, so he, he's very comfortable in his own skin right now. And uh, he's playing at a high level. I mean, he is at a high, high level right now and uh, better than I've ever seen him. So. Uh, which is which is great for our team and and um, uh, but he knows this is his team and he's kind of relaxed about that and he's not, not worried about stepping on anybody's toes maybe like he has the last couple of years so should be a great year for Mello. Let's go front row left hand side. Ryan Chang with front office sports. Uh, Coach, can you talk about Dion Wiley's expected return yeah. from injury and uh, what role he'll play this season? Yeah, it's a great question. You know, Dion was a, a really good freshman for us. Uh, made two huge threes in the NCAA tournament, our NCAA tournament win as a freshman uh, in the second half. And um, 
It was a big blow for us last year when he went down, and no one wanted to believe, believe me when I said that. It's been a long road, long recovery. Um, I'd say Dion's about uh, 85 to 90 percent now. Uh, he's got his weight at a good spot. He's, he, he's, he's, he's lighter than he's ever been, which is great for the knee. Um, he's a really good player, and um, he, he's evolved. Uh, he's become a better defender. Um, he's a he's got really good point guard skills, believe it or not. Ball in his hands, he's he's a terrific player. He's one of our better passers, one of our better players in ball screens. That says a lot when you have Melo on your team. Um, and he, he's really happy. The kid's in a good spot. So when you when you have young men in, those, in that position, they're they're going to play well for you. So I'm really happy for him. I think about where Dion was coming in his freshman year and where he is now, what kind of person he's become. It's an amazing story. It's not just about basketball, but what he's done in the classroom, off the court, and different things. So really, really, you know, hopeful that he can continue to rehab and get better and get close to 100% and because uh, he's going to be a, a big part of our team this year. Got time for two more questions all the way on the left-hand side on the wall. Hi, Coach. Steven Del Cizian with USA Today. Um, you know, you've, you have a lot of incoming freshman players coming in with this team. What are you expecting out of them this season with, you know, a lot of veterans missing from this team? Yeah, we, um, I'm, I'm real excited about our freshman class. Um, I'll start with Anthony Cowan, a uh, local kid from St. John's High School. He was one of, one of the best point guards in the country coming out of high school. I thought he was one of the top two or three point guards coming out of high school. Uh, it's different than Mello. He's, he, he, he picks up full court. He can really get in you and guard you, pressure you. He's fast. Um, he's great on the break. He's really improved his shot. Um, now, Don said earlier, chip on his shoulder. This kid's got a chip on his shoulder. Um, being six foot or 5'11 or whatever he is, um, he's got a huge chip on his shoulder, and I love it. So he's going he's gonna to play a lot uh, right away, and he's going to help us tremendously. Kevin Herter. Um, Freshman from Albany, New York, is one of the best shooters I've ever uh, been around consistently. Um, he was with us with USA Basketball this summer. He's really improved since USA Basketball, becoming a better defender. When I started recruiting him, he was 6'3 and a half, 6'4. He's almost 6'7 now. And, um, but he thinks like a point guard. He can really fling it and, and pass it, and he's great in, in a lot of different areas. And you really can't rattle him. He's got a little bit of mellow in him. He just plays at this one pace. He plays at the pace he wants to play at. So, you know. And then Justin Jackson is another young man as a freshman that's ready to help us in a big way. Don't want to compare him to Jake Lehman, but he's going to play that same type of role for us, the three and the four. And um, he's re we've, we've really added guys that can pass the ball. And Deion Wiley coming back. I didn't, hopefully I mentioned that. He's a really good passer. Justin Jackson is a 6'7 four-man with a 7'3 wingspan. Uh, thinks like a point guard and uh, can really pass it. Has improved his shot. And so those three guys, as, as you, uh, new players, are going to play a lot. LG Gill, fifth-year man, uh, is going to play a lot for us. Uh, he's been tremendous in practice. And got a couple other freshmen that are coming along, going to be good players down the road for us. And then one more quick question on the left-hand side. Quick answer, uh, quick question. Yeah. Justin Meyer from the left bench. Uh, this will be your third season in the Big Ten. Um, you started here in the ACC. How have you been able to assimilate into the conference and get the kind of roster that you need to compete in this league? Well, you know, it was really about making Maryland basketball great, no matter what league you're in, and, and getting players um, that fit your style as a coach. I, I think I'm finally almost there. Um, you, you, you'll enjoy this team this year. They, we can really pass the ball. We have great understanding of the game. And um, so I wasn't so worried about the ACC or the Big Ten. I was just trying to make my team the best team I could possibly make it. And if I could make it a great team, we'd be at the top of those leagues. So um, love being in the Big Ten. Love the coaches. Tremendous coaching. Uh, really challenge you every night to to, to, to to be on top of your game and I love the venues you know we, no matter where we, we've been good the last two years so wherever we go it's sold out and loud and uh, really challenges you as a coach and as a team so 
love being in the Big Ten just and, and, and love being successful in the Big Ten. Thank you, Coach. Good right. luck this season. Thank you.